Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tom Lynch here with HighScoreReviews.com, and we're back with another quick look video. This time, taking a look at the next batch of DLC that's released for Batman Arkham Knight 2015's Game of the Year. But uh, I might be being a bit biased in that regard. Uh, but yeah, there's been some DLC released for Arkham Knight. Um, up to this point, we've had the uh, the challenge maps. Um, uh, for, a, for, for a certain characters and we've had the odd few skins and things but this time towards the end of September we have another Batmobile themed piece of DLC uh, this time it's the 2008 Tumblr Batmobile pack um, I think that's the name uh, the official name of it I'm not sure it's somewhat along those lines uh, but yeah as you can imagine we have the ability now to drive around in the Tumblr from Christopher Nolan's uh, critically acclaimed and beloved Dark Knight trilogy. Um, as you saw there, there was a nice little bit of uh, concept art. And here, we've jumped into the showcase mode to show you um, just how incredibly Rocksteady have once again recreated, uh, well not recreated, but um, but brought this Batmobile uh, to life in Arkham Knight. Uh, the accuracy there is second to none. Incredible amounts of detail. Like it's been stripped straight from the movie once again. Uh, yeah. The hulking machine that is the Tumblr, the tank, as it's, as it's called uh, at various stages in Batman Begins. But yeah. Very iconic. Very awesome. Being a big fan of Nolan's uh, trilogy, this is uh, a dream come true. But I can't help feeling a bit disappointed, but we'll get onto that a little bit later on. Uh, but yeah, so much like the 1989 film pack, um, you get two uh, racetracks that are inspired by the films, um, which we'll get onto in a little, a little while. But um, here is um, another bit of DLC that came out at the same time as the, the Tumblr pack. It's um, a Batman skin, uh, and it's the Arkham Asylum suit um, from, a, from obviously Batman Arkham Asylum, the first game in Rocksteady's trilogy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure if this translates into the main game, but when I was looking through this, I don't know if you can notice, the, the pants and the cowl uh, are lacking kind of depth in terms of uh, colour, in terms of shading. If we get a bit close up here again, it, they both just look like one block colour. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell that. If you look at his shoulders compared to the cape, it looks like just a block colour. There's, there's not a lot of uh, kind of shading or lighting going on there at all. Uh, whether that translates into the main game, um, I'm not entirely sure. I can't quite remember. It might just be something to do with the showcase. I don't know. Uh, but still, still pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've just gone, gone ahead and equipped uh, those for when we jump into frame room a little later. But yeah, here are the uh, the two the two racetracks that you get: Ashes and Cataclysm. Um, and once again, you get uh, uh, three lap versions of both those tracks, much like the uh, 1989 film pack. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the uh, the first track here, which is Ashes, uh, the one lap race version. Gonna load up here. Awesome little loading screen of the Batmobile there from the Tumblr from behind. So, so cool. Now, I, I must confess, um, what you're about to see isn't my first attempt at this track. Um, my first attempt was quite frankly diabolical. Um, the first obstacle coming up here, uh, the first major obstacle beyond, you know, besides just activating a few switches here, this kind of like, wall scaling scenario that's you know everyone knows and loves from the river racetracks i must have failed at least seven times i just couldn't dodge those kind of flaming wreckages the, the debris there that was attached to the wall I kept plummeting to the spikes below and i was like you know what you know, this, this is ruining my my credibility as a gamer and an arkham knight uh, fan and so this is kind of like my third or fourth attempt at um, but yeah, as you can see here, um, this racetrack in particular, and indeed the second one, is very heavy on destruction and uh, particle effects and practical effects, all that sort of thing. 
um, very much um, showcasing the you know the, the impressive physics uh, of Arkham Knight, um, and also kind of uh, showcasing the you know the the hulking power of the tumbler, if you will. Uh, that's something they they very much wanted to get across um, when they were talking about these tracks uh, leading up to release. Um, so yeah, they're very like destruction heavy. Um, which is kind of cool, so you can you can kind of go around the racetrack there and not really worrying about time if you want to see the you know the destructibility of these tracks. Uh, but here we're jumping into the the, uh, the second track, uh, Cataclysm, which is my kind of personal favourite out of the two um, because it makes nice little references to the Dark Knight trilogy throughout. Uh, which, let's see if you can notice them um, as we, we race through this track here, and once again. This isn't my first attempt. I, I wasn't as bad at this one. Uh, made a few little mess ups. Um, but yeah, uh, wanted to have a nice clean run through here uh, so I can show you off the, the track in all its glory. Oh, but yeah, there's a nice little uh, reference to Batman Begins coming up here. As you uh, kind of turbo there, up a ramp and through a, through a waterfall, uh, like that scene in Batman Begins. Um, and here is another nod to Batman Begins. Where he's flying on rooftops <laughs> in, in the Batmobile, uh, being chased by the police, uh, which is awesome. Obviously, there the chopper as well firing at you, which is a nice little uh, addition. Here it's um, driving through the mall, uh, like he does in, in the Dark Knight, but on the bat part. Uh, and I think here is kind of a nod to the Dark Knight Rises, maybe, uh, with the, you know, the opening uh, IMAX sequence with Bane and the whole plane um, scenario. But yeah. Uh, both tracks short but sweet. Um, I think they they might they might even be shorter than the uh, the 1989 film packs. Maybe it's because uh, you know these two were so destruction heavy that they had to dial back the length of the tracks. Uh, but obviously you'll get more length out of them when you go uh, into the into the three lap versions. Uh, but yeah, um, those two tracks uh, they're kind of cool. Uh, as I said before, being a big fan of uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, it's awesome just to drive around the tumbler in general, um, but yeah, you know, with the, the the second track in particular, with the nice little nods to uh, to the trilogy, um, is a, a nice little bit of fan service, um, uh, and yeah, really really cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going to jump into to free roam here um, once again, just like with the, uh, the the Michael Keaton Batmobile. You can drive it around in free roam, but only once you've uh, eradicated all of the Arkham Knight's tanks, because of course uh, the Tumblr doesn't have a transforming battle mode. So, uh, so yeah, once you've done that, you can drive it around in free roam, uh, which is neat. And I've equipped the uh, the Arkham Asylum uh, bat suit here. Let me see if the whole kind of blocky cowl and pants is kind of transferred over into the main game. It kind of looks like it. Maybe it's just in certain lights. So I think when we get out onto the streets, it's not that bad, but I don't know if you can notice that. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, the Arkham Asylum skin itself, I think, is is cool. Just how we remember it from the, uh, from the first game. And I think, as well, they've changed his face sculpt a little bit because he looks even more moody than usual uh, here. He just has, a, like, a tremendous frown. And like it's not, you can't see much of his eyes, so he just looks like he looks like he's moody and depressed. Um, you know, I don't know. It might just be in my imagination. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I think. But it, nevertheless, it still looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're um, driving around here in the tumbler, and I don't know if you've noticed at this point, but the way they've captured the sound of the tumbler is just incredible. It's so perfect. Um, the 1989 film pack and that uh, Batmobile, the Michael Keaton Batmobile, I think uh, controlled a lot differently to the, to the Batmobile of the main game. It was um, felt a lot more stiff and narrow, which obviously makes sense for that, for that Batmobile because it's just, you know, it's almost like it's just one, uh, kind of one thing, one stretched vehicle if that makes sense, and there's not much maneuverability to it, uh, essentially. Whereas the Tumbler, uh, it feels a lot similar to the Arkham Knight Batmobile, uh, which makes sense because you know it's 
pretty safe to say that the art behind that build is heavily influenced by the tumbler. Um, uh, so yeah, the, the tumbler feels uh, and handles very similar to the art behind that build, but the difference is in its sound, um, which I think is just awesome. The, the kind of the roar of the engine is even more kind of prominent and powerful than the Arkham Line Batmobile, but especially the sound when you drift. When you drift, ah, oh, it's it's oh, it's so awesome. It's like it's been stripped straight from the movie. You know, um, in the films where it's either the tumbler drifting, but more so the bat pods, uh, when the bat pod makes a sharp kind of turn and the wheel starts flipping in that direction and it makes kind of that warping sound that is very much been captured here uh, in the sound of this tumbler and I could I could just literally be driving around this thing for hours drifting around every corner it sounds absolutely glorious uh, it just sounds incredible incredible but yeah a little bit of a fanboy moment there which I apologize for but there you go uh, as you can see as well, the, uh, it still gets muddy and things when you're driving around the streets of Gotham, which is cool. We jumped into photo mode there, so you can get a better look at the tumbler, get some nice shots of it drifting around the corner. Yeah, it's back to the Arkham Asylum skin. In kind of certain, certain kind of like lighting areas and things it doesn't look so bad but maybe it's when you're indoors and there's a lack of lighting it just like it looks like one block color but anyway but yeah this yeah that, that that's it essentially this is the um the tumbler and the, the arkham asylum skin um i will make one kind of point of concern and and well not concern but disappointment i feel like they have missed a massive opportunity by not including the uh the bail bat suit you know, the Batsuit from either Batman Begins or The Dark Knight. You know, uh, one of the great things about the 1989 film pack was, you know, alongside the iconic Batmobile, you've got the equally as iconic Batsuit, you know, Mike Keaton suit. I'm not sure why they haven't done it here for for this movie pack. Um, you know, whether they were in the, the mindset and whether they had this mentality that the Batsuit from those films isn't as iconic as the car I don't know I would disagree with that I just think they've missed out on like a massive opportunity here to include the suit alongside uh, the Batmobile not only would it be you know another incredible piece of sound fan service but you know when you go to purchase or download this thing off you know your respective stores if you just saw an image of you know Christian Bale standing alongside the tumbler and it's a piece of DLC for Arkham Knight you know I think any fans of those films are going to jump to that straight away and might, it might even incline them to buy you know pick up the season pass just to, just to play it early you know it's like the, the 1989 film back I'm sure you know massive fans of of those films probably picked up the season pass and and, and purchased that uh, that movie pack I don't know but I just feel like it's such a wasted opportunity whether they bring out the skin later on down the line I don't know. It's unlikely. I mean, you would feel like they would do it at this at this point when they're bringing out, you know, the tumbler. Um, but yeah, you know, whether they couldn't get the rights to use the bat suits, I don't know. Again, that kind of doesn't make sense because if you know if they got permission to use the tumbler, then you know, surely using the bat suit as well wouldn't wouldn't be a problem. I don't know. Obviously, I. I'd, I don't know about this sort of thing, but it would be interesting to, to be a fly on the wall um, during, you know, conversations they had with WB. You know, maybe it's something to do, you know, with them or with Nolan himself and his company. And, uh, I don't know what it is, but I, nevertheless, I think they've, they've kind of missed out on a real, a real nice opportunity here to include those because uh, if they included the, the battle bat suit I would have restarted New Game Plus and you know I'd be, I'd be wearing that skin constantly. Massive fan of the Dark Knight trilogy. Having the tumbler is incredible but the bat suit as well would have been the icing on the cake. It would have been would have been fantastic but nevertheless it's not to it's it's not to be. Um, but yeah this is essentially the uh, 
the 2008 Tumblr Batmobile pack and the Arkham Asylum skin. Uh, I've been Tom Lynch with HighScoreReviews.com uh, and this has been another quick vlog video. Until next time, I'll, I'll see you guys. See you guys later.